Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to provide a solution to this interesting trigonometric equation. We would like to find the value of this angle theta given that sine of 2 theta plus pi divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 2. Don't forget to like, comment and share to your lady and colleagues. Let's get started. One thing you should always remember is if you have sine of an angle theta, maybe it is equal to a certain value x. Sine of pi minus that angle theta will also be equal to x. Why? Remember, if you have your unit cycle, if you have x here, maybe for sine of x, here it will be what? Uh, this is pi, remember. So this reflection in the second quadrant will be pi minus x. And because sign depends on y axis, so the value they share in common is this. So let's solve this problem. You should know that uh, it is either sine of 2 theta plus pi over 3 equal to 1 over 2 or sine of pi minus the whole of this. So the sine will change 2 theta minus pi over 3 is also equal to 1 over 2. So these are the two equations we are going to solve separately. So if you take sine inverse of both sides, it implies that, let me start with this equation, 2 theta uh, plus pi divided by 3 is equal to pi over 6 because sine inverse of 1 over 2 is pi divided by 6. But remember, given that maybe this is pi divided by 6. If you go around, you come back to where you started, you have to get many, many, infinitely many coterminal angles. So you just add multiples of 2 pi, for which this k is just an integer, 0, 1, 2, negative 1. You understand? Just a complete cycle. So now our main goal is to find theta. First of all, let us take this one to the other side. We have 2 theta equal to, should I subtract directly? All right, let me do it step by step. Minus pi divided by 3 plus 2 pi k. Um, you can multiply the top and the bottom by 2 just to make this number equal to 6. So if it is 6 here, we have 2 pi here. 1 pi minus 2 pi is negative pi. So this is negative pi over 6 plus multiples of uh, 2 pi. All right. Then finally, um, you divide both sides by 2. Uh, theta will be equal to negative pi divide by 12. If you divide by 2, 6 times 2 is 12. Plus, you divide this by 2 as well, it becomes pi. Pi k. So this is our first solution. Let's move to the other one. Take a sine inverse of both sides, you're still going to have pi over 6 to the other side. So pi minus 2. Okay, let me subtract this one from pi directly. Uh, it will be 3 times pi is 3 pi minus pi is 2 pi over 3. So we have 2 pi over 3 minus 2 pi, 2 theta. This is equal to pi divided by 6 as you take sine inverse of both sides. Remember to add multiples of 2 pi. Then we collect the like terms. You can take 2 theta to the other side and bring all of these terms to the left. But I will assume it is to the other side. Then it will be equal to um, 2 pi over 30 minus pi divided by 6. As this crosses over, it becomes negative. This crosses over, it becomes negative. But remember, this is just a multiples of 10 other coterminal angles so you can leave it as positive it doesn't matter to simplify this we can make this one to be equal to 6 by multiplying the top and the bottom by 2 so as you multiply this by 2 it becomes uh, 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so we have 3 pi divided by 6 3 pi divided by 6 plus 2 pi uh, Okay, right, and this remains 2 theta. 
Then lastly, we are going to divide by 2. As you divide by 2, this becomes, uh, or you can simply reduce this to the lowest term, right? 3 into 6 is exactly 2 times. So we assume that this is just pi divided by 2. As you divide by 2, it becomes pi divided by 4. So this is pi divided by 4 plus you divide this by 2, it becomes pi. And this will remain theta. And hence, this is our second solution for which k is an integer. Simple. If you like, you can convert this to smallest positive angle by adding pi. But I like to leave it like this. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.